The civil war in Syria is forcing families to leave everything behind for the pursuit of safety. As of late February, over 25,000 Syrian refugees have found a home in Canada. The 30 reporters Jason Hussey and Joe Steiner talked to a refugee about his adjustment to Canada. I have been here from one month ago. There is a center YMCA. They helped me for, uh, to repair all my paper, the ID and health card, the PR card. And now I got my driving license. It's uh, too fast, I know, but uh, they helped me. Despite having to learn English, Joseph says his transition was quick and made him feel at home. That's all for one month. It's uh, very good for me. And I feel like I have been here more than one year. Yeah. I talked to a Project Syria leader, Amanda Ganma, about what her organization does and how she feels the refugees are perceived by the public. We have, you know, collected uh, things that, that we know that the Syrian refugees need. A lot of them include, uh, you know, baby items like diapers or baby clothes, um, and certainly things like, you know, like bikes. Many people from Project Syria came to Canada from other countries as well. They have experienced the adjustment period and want to help the families any way they can. All the money that we got together, we, we right away, you know, non-profit organization. So, of course, all the money went directly to uh, the families. A man believes the negative connotation of refugees has died down, but is still prevalent among some people. We definitely, we don't see a lot of, you know, discrimination against them here. The more they integrate within our society, the more people get to know them. And when you get to know them, you know, on a, on a personal level, people certainly sort of accept them and sort of understand where they're coming from. So the negative connotations sort of, you know, slowly disappear. But that's certainly not to say that it doesn't, you know, doesn't exist at all, because it certainly does. A lot of people, uh, you know, see them as, um, as, as individuals who are coming, you know, to sort of rob the country. Aldo Windsor is a great multicultural city. The high unemployment can pose problems for refugees. Uh, it's hard to find a job, that's all for me. This is the problem with me. That's everything. A man in Project Syria placed priority in fully adjusting refugees to Canada before returning to regular life. Things like uh, helping the woman sort of integrate into a, you know, a more co-ed society, I guess. And basically, you know, babysitting the children while the families, you know, the parents do uh, things that are for, uh, for the government or they do their papers or health cards, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, there are more Syrian refugees coming in and, uh, and hopefully that the, the new ones will get just the exact same treatment that the, you know, the older refugees got. Canada has also welcomed a large amount of Hungarian, Muslim and Vietnamese refugees over the last 60 years. We hope to see a smooth transition for all families. I'm Matthew Bedinsky of 30.ca.